Japanese design is meeting Milan in the beautiful location in Piazza Duomo. We are going to meet backstage a great show coordinator, Rosé Chéri, who will open the secret door of this industry for us. I'm organizing the production, overall production, and I'm doing the show calling, which means I'm coordinating lighting, sound, and choreography of the models. It's your first time in Milan? Um, actually, it's the first production that I'm doing in Milan. I started off as a model around about 18 years ago. I worked for Gianfranco Ferre in the city, and now I'm back and I work behind the scenes. So I started off working as a show producer uh, eight years ago, but it's my first production in Milan now. They're passionate about what they're doing, and, um, and I always know both sides. So I always see the perspective of the model, also when I'm doing the model casting, for example. So I'm sitting behind the table. Back then I was a model myself and trying to get the job myself. Let's go to fun questions. When she doesn't want to answer, she has to make a noise with these little things. And that's the Joker. The name of my interview is For the Sake of Love. For the Sake of Love, would you stop your career? No. Go back to live in your childhood village? No. Um, do drugs? Never. Accept a few infidelities? And live in a ménage à trois? Gain 70 kilo? No way. Okay, would you spend the night with Justin Bieber, Drake or Travis Scott? Drake. Hypnotic. She's something that you can't erase. What was the inspiration for this collection? The concept is harmonization between different fabrics, colors, and also he mentioned at the end that uh, it's harmonization between the cultures of the East, where we come from, and of the West. So that's his concept. I would like to know if he likes Milan. He likes Milano very much. He noticed that uh, in Italy people take great care in preserving their uh, old uh, buildings and such, which unfortunately in Japan, in Japan uh, old buildings are taken down and uh, preferred. Uh, people prefer newer buildings. So he really, really is impressed with the way that Italy preserves this culture and he finds that very fascinating and attractive. How he will describe a woman for winter 2016? See, the, his collection was very, very uh, delicate and very um, refined. So he imagines that uh, such women and very um, intelligent women should It should appeal to those kind of women. What's your favorite place to have a drink in Milan? Do you already know a cool bar or something? Yes, Blanco. It's really cool, I love it. Think you're gonna go out tonight? No, not tonight, I'm so tired. Milan Fashion Week in one word. How would you describe the Milan Fashion Week? A city really chic. I saw lots of women dress really well in Milan. <laughs> Think about it. Thank you. Maybe two words. My name is Shaney Moon. Because originally it's Man, but I changed it to Moon because of the whoop. I just came from London. Yeah, I mean, Milan just started, so... Uh. For, me, for me, I prefer to do the show than to do, like, the shooting. Yeah, because there's, like, there's, like an, an adrenaline. There's, like, three hours of faffing around, and then it's five minutes and it's finished. So it's cool. Chuck. Chuck Majak. Um, my family's from South Sudan, but I was born and raised in Santa Barbara. Do you like your outfit today? I love it. Uh, I'm with the Wave. 
management here. So this one's for you, Luca Marcuccio. I was invited to a couple of parties, but to be honest, I just want to go home and have a bath and go to bed. One word. Passion people in Milano, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I'm really exhausted. It was one of the most inspiring shows I've seen in Milan. Yeah, this is the second day, so wait until I know, the I know, next I know, Monday. I know. What we want to do is to make a taste that can be loved worldwide. So I know it's the idea to have the fashion show in this ancient palace and to mix the, the old style of Italy, the heritage, together with the craftsmanship technology. I want to just reinterpret the femininity through the use of typical feminine fabrics like the French lace, like the net, but with the technological treatments like the pleats, like a laminate on that, that makes it rock, that makes groove, a nice, you know, attitude. If you had to pick out one piece, which which one would it be? Uh, what I love is the coat because the collection is called the Rainbow Collection. And I mean, I like the, the coat, the long coat with the stripes in this laminate leather. This is, I mean, one day full of work because the, every single stripe is cut by hand and is stitched by hand. So I like the idea of having it looks like you know the real crocodile skin, but this is denim. Dark spots are made by hand to, to again give this three-dimensional effect. This is what I like. Uh, this is I, I, I don't like at that, at that point you know the fashion show where you have just one idea. I want you know every outfit was a different girl on the same attitude. So you see even the makeup, the hair. We want to personalize every because every woman has got a strong personality. They have just the, the uh, show it also through the help of the, the designers, but with the, with the, with their attitude, which is the best fashion ever. Milano is one of the capital of fashion and is a, a great opportunity to have the possibility to show uh, the future fashion in that beautiful building which is unique, this is typical Italian, so you are surrounded by our heritage mixed with the, the technology we have the power to, to display, so I think this is the beauty of Italy and especially of Milano.